What's up, Shreddy? It's happening from Shreddy right here, and today let's talk about pectorals. Pumping up them pecs and party tricks with the pecs. So anytime I've not been out with friends for a while, or anytime I've seen someone who hasn't seen me in a long time and I've had a size in my chest, the first thing they comment on is Fucking hell, look at your chest. Fuck me, you've got a big chest. Fucking hell, looks like you've got like tits. Whatever it is, it always is about chest. It's always about adding the size, added onto my chest. That's the first thing people notice. Then follow on that, it's always Can I feel your chest? Or just people prodding, poking it. Whatever it is that they're doing, always on my chest. The reason I've got a big chest is because I want to be like Red hot, motherfucker! Then they start asking me about Can you peck pop? Can your heart stop? Doesn't matter what I can do. Boom, boom, boom. In the muscle building room. So the first thing I want to do is see the pec dance. Like that. Pop, 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 pop. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Pec popping involves the shoulder, the back a little bit. To do things like that. But yeah, pec popping is always one of those things that's associated with bodybuilding in a humorous way. Chris Masters, if anyone's a fan of wrestling, will have seen what he was doing a couple of years ago in wrestling, where he had to um, come on board to something train, and the boop, 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 boop. But yeah, whatever it is, guys, people are always attracted to pecs. So what's the moral of the story? If you get a big chest, you'll get a girlfriend with a big chest as well. So that's it for today, guys. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below with any of your pec popping party tricks and of course become a shredded and subscribe. Shreddy Break, out!